Hey again, welcome back. Wear my glasses now. So in the last video, I kind of talked about the parts of the character that whenever you're doing a character rig or a 2D character rig, you need to separate your character design into separate layers. That way you have parts to work with. And technically they will be moving parts. So in this scenario in Open Tunes, I'm gonna be adding the pivot points to the character and to do that, I'm going to be going to the Animate tool and changing the mode from Position to Center. Now, by default, most of your layers, well, all of your layers would have their pivot points in the crosshair that you see in the center of the camera. Uh, in some of my layers, I already made some changes. But what I'll be doing is going through each of the different layers and you know, adjusting the pivot point. So let's start from the feathers. So you notice from the feathers that I've already made my center point there. That means that if I was to change this to animate, or even just rotate, that it rotates like that. And I could have my little follow through if I animate it that way. So I'm gonna kind of go through each one, changing my center point. So as you notice, the center point is over in the center. So I'm going to just shift that to where that point would be. And it's always good to test it out just to make sure. So that's fine. And always press undo as you go. So I'm just going to do that. Next, we have the back of the hair. So I'm just going to do some estimations now rather than going through and rotating everything. Right. <clears throat> In that case, there could even be a shear. Right, share works better here. But the pivot point is in the right place. So from now on, I'm just going to go through the center points and just... So right here we have the torso. I'll just put that right about there. Um, we have the arms and... Well, this one is a thigh. And I kind of want to know which thigh it is. It's thigh L. So that will be the one on the right because she's facing us. Just as a quick test, I'm going to have to check the rotation on this just to make sure it's done properly. So that's that. Um, next we have the thigh right. So we're just going to center that. Step it over here. Put that there. For now I'm just going to hide the skirt. Or it's just legs. <laughs> There's nothing there. Um, so that actually helps for me to put this in the right place. And we just go through, we have the shin. Um, it would be helpful to kind of hide these. So I'll have it in the right place. So, shin L, put that there. Other one, right about there. All right. Next we have is the skirt. So I could just leave that there. Any little rotation can probably take place there. You know, a little wiggle. Boom. I might have to redraw some parts of the belly here just so it works. But largely it's okay. We have the neck. Neck is there. That's okay. Perhaps could we'll shift it a little bit higher. Of the head. Find that the head rotates from that point. And the ear and the other ear. Um, of the nose, you have the mouth that's already in place. The eyes, I've already set those from before. I also have the iris. And what's cool about this is that the way I've set it up is that I'm using a bit of an effect, which is called the matte input from the effects um, schematic, which kind of works with the whole input and such. But long story short, it acts like a mask whenever I'm going to move the eyes, so that way the eyes stay, you know, within the white of the eyes. And that really is helpful in that case. That's a another video in totality, but we're almost done. We have the hair, which already is done, we have that little flower. The feet, which I kind of drew in afterwards, um, or foot L, which is about there. I'm going to really have to test this one because 
I want to make sure it, it shows OK. So if it's not in the right place, I'm going to have to make sure it is. Chances are I might even make it at the end of the foot just to see how well this works. So I have a, a foot switch. So even though you have like the foot looking like this, I do have one for the shin. If I'm on the right one. Shin L. We do have a drawing to switch that out. And I could probably make another drawing for it so it matches down here, if anything. But for now, this I'll just let this work for now as it is. Um, for the foot, just making sure that the pivot point is in the right place. Don't want it to be too weird, so let's put that center point somewhere like in the center of the foot there. Right about there. Other foot, same thing. Drag that center point over to here. And then we have the biceps. So that's bicep L, which would be right about where the shoulder is. We do the same thing for the other arm. And we just keep going. So arm L, we have to hide the bicep just so you can see how the parts are broken down. So that's roughly there. Other one is roughly here. And so we go. And the hands are the last ones beside these. And then get the pivot point for the hands. It's important to also know that even though I have the hands here, I've made sure that my drawing substitution for these hands they all kind of fall in the same area. So let me show you what I mean. If I zoom in on this hand here, like all my different substitutions kind of work with the same roundness, at least for the most part. So I won't have a hand like flying all over the place, if you know what I mean. All right, so we have hand R. And hand L. So hand R, we're just going to put that there. And I believe we're done. So now that's done, we've set our pivot points for all of our drawings. The next step is going to be to, well, add the parent. So previous video was parts. This video is pivot. And the next one is going to be parent. So thanks for watching. And do... Take care. God bless you.